Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove or clear a Z-Wave device from your Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus security system. Uh, this also applies to the other Pro Series alarm panels. Um, and you will only really be removing a Z-Wave device if you have a Z-Wave card installed inside the system, which is the Pro Wi-Fi ZW. Um, th that comes by default on the Pro A7 Plus and the Residio Pro A7 Plus C. Uh, if you have a Pro A7 from Honeywell Home or a Residio Pro A7C, then you'll need to add um, a Pro Wi-Fi ZW because those systems, they, they don't come with that module pre-installed. So just something to keep in mind. But uh, clearing a z device, uh, this is also something you'll do when adding a z device because clearing a z device wipes out all of its Z-Wave network data, which helps for enrollment, makes it able to be enrolled. So you will do this before um, adding a device, but you might also be doing it if you just want to clear out a z device, if you no longer want to be using it with that system, you don't want it to show up on the system, you don't want it to show up on Total Connect 2.0. Because the devices, when you when you enroll a Z-Wave device with the system, if it's monitored with access to a Total Connect 2.0, it gets pushed over to that platform as well. So uh, we're going to be showing you how to clear a Z-Wave device. When we have a couple Z-Wave devices enrolled with the system already, and we'll be clearing them both. So uh, we're at the main screen of our Pro A7 Plus, our Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus. We're going to click the small hamburger button, the three horizontal bars at the bottom. And we're going to choose Devices, and we're going to choose Z-Wave Management. And then we can use our installer code or our master code. Uh, we'll use our installer code this time, uh, which is ours at the default of 4112. And then um, we're at the Z-Wave management menu. So um, I'm going to show you that we have some devices enrolled right now. We have a, a couple of uh, uh, lighting modules. We have um, just an on-off regular lighting module, and then we have a dimmer as well. So we're going to be clearing both of these from the system. We'll do it one at a time. Um, so we're going to go to exclusion mode. And then we have our Z-Wave devices uh, down here. Like I said, we have a couple of them. And um, the way that these include or exclude, we just press a button. If you have um, a different Z-Wave device, maybe a Z-Wave lock, you might have to enter in a specific code or follow a sequence of commands to do inclusion exclusion. So refer to the manual for your Z-Wave device if it follows a different process. Um, just helpful tip there. But these are pretty simple. So we're just going to press the button on our Leviton device. And you see that we have excluded the device from the network. Um, so now we're just going to choose Done. And let, let me show the Enrolled Devices screen. We're going to see that now we only have one Zebra device in there. We cleared this one out. So let's go ahead and clear the other. Um, we're just going to go into Exclusion. And um, we can just press the button on our Qualsys dimmer module. And you see that it is cleared from the network. Um, and we're going to go back into Enrolled Devices. And you see that everything has been wiped out. Um, it's important to note that we've wiped out the Z-Wave network data for these devices, so they can be readily enrolled with a new um, Z-Wave controller, or the same Z-Wave controller. In fact, I'll do that just to show you. Uh, if we wanted to add the Z-Wave device in, we could go to inclusion mode, and now it's listening for a Z-Wave device to enroll. We'll enroll our uh, Leviton model here, module here. We we'll press the button. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times to get it to show up. And you see it does say device found. It's got the device on there. And it's been added to no number 15. Um, it's the Leviton. And it's just a switch. Um, it's a non-secured, meaning that this is the low-level, old-style Z-Wave security, um, S0, so to speak. Uh, that, like I said, this is a Z-Wave classic device. So it doesn't have as um, a high level of a security. It's lower level of security. But that's, that's fine for most automation devices. But if we go into enrolled devices, you see we have our device here. Right now, it's, it's on. You see the LED is on if we were to press the button then we can control it. You can, if, if you listen closely, you might hear a slight click. Yep, so we can control the device from there. And we can also control it from Total Connect 2.0. The devices get pushed over to that platform as well. But let's go back out to the main screen. We're, we're pretty much done here. So um, that is how you remove a Z-Wave device from your Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus security system. If you don't want to have your Z-Wave device on there anymore, and um, you want to use it with a different controller, a different network, then this is something you would do uh, to get it off of Whatever, your Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus or other Pro Series alarm panel. So if you have any questions about Z-Wave devices, about the Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus, or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.